was here no under under over over done real impromptu because i just got this in the mail and i just got this in the mail and i'm sitting here and what we're looking at here if i title this the way i think i titled it is an adac an analog to digital converter and i need one of those for my living room setup if you watch the upgrade video you know that my receiver my task and receiver outputs rca and the new mini dsp that's controlling everything is only digital so what you can find on amazon is this actually this is the 30 dollar one a lot of the other ones are like 10 bucks and it just you plug rcas in these are getting split from the gashelli enug 2 so the dac is coming out going to the split box and then a set is going here and a set is going here and i don't even know the name of this honestly there's nothing written on it it's just generic digital outputting box so the rcas come in and you got fiber optic and coaxial digital output this one's a little bit more unique than the other ones I found on there because you can switch between 48 and 192. Spoiler alert, read the reviews, 192 rarely ever works. So I have it on 48, same thing here. Um, so this is an RME ADI-2. Now, yeah, I reviewed the RME ADI-2. It had all the great graphics and you could do all sorts of equalization settings and oh my god and oh my god and oh my god. This is also an RME ADI-2, but it's not the RME ADI-2 DAC. It's also $100 cheaper, $200? I don't know, we'll look in a second. In other words, this is $30, a $32 is a thousand, roughly. And the job of these boxes, well, this one is a DAC and an ADAC. So this will turn, just like everything else, digital into analog. But this will also turn analog into digital with incredible precision, according to the manual. And this, well, this is $30. So what I've got set up here is coaxial digital cable going into a Grace S DAC balanced, going out of this into a 789, and from the 789 into a set of Odyssey MX4s, which by the way were donated to this channel because they're going to end up in a yard sale at the end of July, hopefully the end of July, maybe the end of August, I'm not sure. I'm going to use them as whatever the sale price for this goes. Anything I get on them in the yard sale will go towards funding Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. A user was able to send me these. He's like, I don't need these anymore if you want to sell them and use the money for Rocky Mountain. So you bet your ass I'm going to sell them and use the money for Rocky Mountain. If you just want to donate to Rocky Mountain and not buy these, the link is in the description. But I'm going to use this time and effort, since I'm doing dailies, I'm going to throw some other jazz it up, to give this like a partial review. I have hooked it up as a DAC balanced to this you know what it sounds like the rme adi2 who would have guessed it just without any we'll go over this so this is my setup this is what i'm listening to 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 judge how good a job that's going from analog to digital and then digital back to analog is obviously set which is this so what i'm going to start with is how amazingly close these two are like I thought, I, I remember back in the day, probably six, seven years ago, when I only had this, when I only had the the XDA2 in my grandparents' house when I was doing my original reviews. You've never seen an original Z review where I was in that room that looked so cluttered and full of shit. I don't know how I even was able to live. There wasn't enough anime girls is the problem. I would have been fine. But uh, now it's cluttered and full of my shit, which is a big difference. But... In that place, I thought that the headphone out on the XA2 would be the, the gold standard for the rest of my days, because fuck the Zeos no six years ago. And that doesn't have an analog input. So I bought one of those $10 analog to digital converters so that I could test various things plugged in and just use the headphone output like it was an analog input. And that was the worst experience I've ever had in audio. It was like Bluetooth 3.0, but worse. It did a shit job. Now fast forward to 2019, this thing's on Amazon for 30 bucks. I went for the more expensive one. Actually, that's almost the most expensive one you could find when you're actually looking for it on Amazon. And if I plug this in to the output, uh, I get separation, I get clarity, I get good tonality, I don't get noise, I don't get anything bad. And it blows my mind because th here's what's happening now. We're taking an analog signal, converting an analog to a digital signal. Now, when you have a DAC 
And I argue that there are better decks and there are like lower end decks and middle range decks and high end decks. And you know, you always strive for like those high end decks. You want the you, you want the Gungnir multi bit, and it's like, oh, it's like just the peak as much as you ever need to spend is like right there. But then you get down to like the hundred dollar decks, and they're really good now. And you know, you can live for the rest of your life with a hundred dollar deck and be absolutely fine. And then you can get like the three three hundred dollar decks, three four, like somewhere in the SMSL uh, SU eight, like the balance decks because Shelly Labs two hundred bucks, and you get this for a hundred and seventy. So there's like slightly higher end decks. And when you think about an A deck, it's this, but backwards. So there still should be a plateau of quality. You should have a shit one. Like I experienced a shit one. I didn't even have good headphones back then. And I fucking know how shit it was. But yet I put this thing up and I turn the volume up. Th th anyone who needs this particular sort of tech like, if for some reason you want to plug your turntable through your phono preamp into a unit to convert it to digital, like fiber optic, and run it 300 feet to a stereo on the other side of the room, I'm going to go ahead and say this is fucking good enough. I was originally starting this review when I set up the desk, you know, a half hour ago. I was like, all right, I'll just give a quick comparison and then we'll go. Holy shit, that sounds really fucking convincingly good. Now... I unplug that and I switch to this. Or not. Oh, wait, it's the bottom one. There you go. That's output. Another thing I notice this has what's called options. So let's take a look at the front of it. And uh, try not to jizz on your keyboards, children. Input gain, you get high, te negative 10 dB, which as you can see overloads it. Uh, low gain, which drops it way down to like blinking negative 12. And there's like 12 levels of dimming on this VU. So even though there's only six, and then it's negative 60, negative 30, negative 12, negative six, negative three, and then over overdrive or over, um, each one of these has like seven or 10 different levels of dimming. So you could really pinpoint it, but that's too low. So we don't want to be on low gain. We want to be on plus four, which only flashes six and just, I mean, is it even lighting up three or is that just it's bleed over? I, I, I can't even tell. Point is, this output's louder than this, unless you blow it up, and which is bad. So I really wish this had a little bit more finicky adjustment because when I'm running off this, I have to turn the volume up a little more. Is there a difference between the two? Yeah. Have I just, has this blatant? No. That's the problem. I sp here's the thing. This is a thousand dollars or nine hundred and fifty dollar reduce. Nine hundred and fifty dollar reduce on Amazon, and this is a uh, thirty five dollar reduce. And the fact that I had to actually pay attention to hear the difference between them and this functionality, uh, it pretty much startles my mind. I'm just like, wow, fucking wow. It's fucking wow. But um. This does have some other things. So you get level control. You get uh, an output. This is for the DAC section, where you can do high gain, plus four, minus 10. And I'm gonna leave that just negative 10 for now, because nothing closing. And you do get a headphone out. Now, RME, I don't know, their ADI2 seem to have a pretty good headphone section. Yeah, this is fucking great. It's just great again. Germany, what do you want from it? Got a nice little tactile knob. I could plug it in if I had if only I had some headphones that could... Actually, wait. Will that work? That's a DA monitor. I don't have... I'd have to do this. And then I'd have to plug fiber optic in. Hold on. We're doing this live. Zeos is doing it live. Um, input. Hold on, everybody. We got this. We got this. Okay. Oh, God. What is it doing? I can't make it make the go again. That's out. That's in. That's a thing. These were all lines. There it is. All right, I decided to set it. I didn't set input. 
to optical because that's where you select that because that's QS, DS, 32, 441, 48. Then you have input of coaxial or optical. Now, it doesn't have any other options. It's got, these do not affect the monitor. So you're just getting like a nice, gracious, powerful fucking line out. I mean, Neumann's are 150 ohms, so they're not that easy to drive. So fire out! Okay, um, put that down. Uh, yeah. If you're just looking to spend $1,000 on an analog to digital, that happens to also be a digital to analog, then here you go. Uh, I could just remove the... Actually, wait a second. How... Is it still doing its job here? Whoa. Hold on a second, boys. I know, I know, Zeos. Oh, by the way, did you notice they have these little handles? They're not handles, they're so you can roll it on its face and not crush its things, because professional gear does that. I'm gonna um, do something that the Ghostbusters warn you not to do. I'm gonna cross the streams. And I just thought about this now, and it, it's, I'm gonna push the output of the, the ADI-2 into the input of the ADI-2 which, by the way, don't do this with any other piece of equipment because it'll probably blow up. So now I should be able to use the headphone out. Oh, it's doing bad things. Bad things are happening. That sounds fine. Ha ha ha! Oof. Oof. God, I love my Neumanns. I think I just love my Neumanns more than these, but these are still amazing. Anything else to anything? Okay, so that's that. That overgains. That low gain. So what I've got going on now is now I'm testing both the oh, shit uh now i'm running analog all right so here's a here let me just run through the chain before i stop this video because i'm just it's late and i'm tired and i just want to hook this up to my surround sound or this and then put this to use somewhere else because it's a damn fine fucking dac and i feel like a thousand dollar dac not being used in my living room is actually i could put this to my two amps in the front instead of the mono blocks and then I could have the left and right. Okay. Laptop is pushing flack through a Micro Origin G2 via USB. And then that is generating a fiber optic signal that is going behind everything into a five-way fiber optic splitter. And that is touching every DAC in the system, including this one and this one and the one up there. And then this one, the Gishela Lab Xenog 2. And that is outputting RCA on the highest gain. I know the Gishela Labs has three different gain settings. And that comes here into this RGB splitter box, which I'm currently using. And a set of RCAs is coming into the RME, converted to yeah, a quarter inch because this is pro gear and everything is quarter inch, except for the coaxials, which are RCA. And then it's also split to the back of this so that I could compare and contrast as you go from analog back to digital with these units and then out digital from these units into this DAC to go back from digital to analog. So digital to analog, analog back to digital, digital back to analog through headphones. Super easy. And the fact that I now have this happening where it's just looping it back, that should have an option internally to do that, honestly. I'm just fucking with it at this point, just to see if I could. I don't know, I hear any sound. What did I do now? Don't blow up my brains, don't, don't blow up my brains, don't blow up my brains. So I was having optical. 
Didn't it just do this? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Weird. It's... I think it doesn't like being plugged into itself. I don't recommend it. That's just me being... I Zeos me really hard just now. That was me... Oh. I try not to destroy other people's stuff, but I bought this with my money. So I could blow it up in video if I feel like it. Point of this video is... How do you like your Tuesday? I hope it's a Tuesday. It's not a Tuesday? Whatever day of the week it is, I hope it was your best one of those days. Um... It was sort of to say, hey, I'm putting these in a yard sale. These who are getting the review. If it hasn't come out yet, it probably hasn't because I haven't filmed it yet. But I don't know. These videos come out in weird orders. That should be out. The S-Stack should be out. This is this reviews. Um, I could plug it in. I could undo this and hook this up and then plug that back in and then run it as a MADAC for this. It's as good as the RME ADI-2 just without any of the features. It's just basically output or not output. Um, yeah, I, I'm, this is the link. This is the first link. If you need, if you need this and it runs off this little micro transformer, look how adorable it is. It's so small. How is it even doing anything? Six volt, quarter of an amp. Oh, oh. But if you need to go analog to digital for whatever reason, and... I've read, if you read the comments on this on Amazon, there are actually some people who have like, hey, yeah, I set up my computer in my one room. Although if you had a computer, you wouldn't need this. This is more to take a source that's only analog, like a turntable, like a whole stereo setup, like a mixer. Then guy, one guy said he had his mixer. It was an analog mixer. Most mixers are analog. But if you output from a mixer into this, you hit it up fiber optic, you could run a fiber optic cable 200 feet with no loss, pop it into a decent DAC again, Boom. You literally brought signal from A to B with no interference. And I, I absolutely trust how this makes it sound. This is just the slightest bit. Just the fucking... Like, I'm talking about 3% more in the way of, of correct tonality than this. But considering that costs 30, 3 is 30 times more uh fuck i bit better it should have sound it should this should sound worse it would have made my my buying decisions a lot easier but either way there you go on a little rack mount legs which aluminum super light and i could tell you they're machined in germany there's just something about anything that was machined in germany you hold it in your hand and you go yeah that's super fucking smooth and accurate oh uh, okay and now it's on the floor and now it's on the floor. Anyway, that was today's video. If it didn't help you at all, I'm sorry, but I did some crazy mad science shit. Mad science hour occasionally on my other channel where the unboxings are. Um, that wallpaper, available in the description. So even if you got nothing else from this video, you got a wallpaper and an ump, and a UMP. I like guns and I like anime girls and I like anime girls with guns. Fight me, bro. Um, so that's available. The Patreon. Uh, is if you want to see any of these videos early, if you want to support this channel, if you want to buy things in the yard sale, if you want to ask me questions, $5 tier gets you all that. If you want to ask me questions on my phone and you want to know what I'm reviewing today or if you want to say how's your day or ask me anything specific, the $10 Patreon tier puts you into a private Telegram chat. That's good forever. There's 160 people in there. I'd say there's probably 50 of them that talk regularly. And most of them are smarter than me or have more expensive equipment than me. So it's, I feel like, I feel like sometimes they help me more than I help them. But you can also tap into that resource for only, I want to say $9.99 a month, but it's, it's fucking 10. And I hate that shit. It's 10, even, a thousand cents. That's it. That's all I'd say. Rocky Mountains coming up. If you want to bid on these when they are in the yard sale, fine. If not, you want to throw $5, $10, $50, $5,000, preferably $20,000. But I'm not asking for that. But I am asking for that. Check out the RMAF GoFundMe. And uh, I guess I'll make a Hi-Fi Guides post for this. Although it'll be in like the other section. Like no one actually needs an ADAC. Let's say put under DAX. Because it is a DAC. But that isn't a DAC. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll be all see you all tomorrow. It's late. I'm going to go sleep now. Play with German fucking things.